This is a picture of my mom. This was taken back in um, 1997. And we went up to Lake George, mom and I. And I, this is hard for me to do, I, but I want to do it while I can feel strong enough to share this about my mom, that she was an incredible, incredible mama, incredible lady. She meant the world to me, and we had a great bond. She was a sweet, lovable, dear mother. We always think alike. I think when she's thinking, she's thinking what I'm thinking. I say, oh, I was going to say that, Mom. I was about to say that. And she says, me too, I was about to say that. No matter how much time goes by, it's never really heals anything at all. It's like, let me just turn that TV down. That's annoying. <laughs> it don't because my mom was everything in the world to me. She was special. Yeah, and when she went to the doctor one day, I didn't give it much a thought because I thought, well, she's going to be fine. I panicked all. And the doctor told me she had weak kidneys. I said, Mom, what can they do about it? You're going to be okay or anything I can do to help you? And she said, I'm going to be fine. And it was like that was about before my mom, you know, I can't say the word. And she said, I expect to live to be 90 or so. Don't you worry. She wanted to spare me. And you know, it never spared me. Not everybody knows how special my mother was. She was the world to me. She was an incredible, incredible lady. It's changed me for good. I mean, I will never feel like the Lynn I used to be and uh, feel the same again. Every day I struggle. There goes bad the body. I struggle with this, um, with the loss of my mom. I was in a bad place, very bad place, you know, when she died, and I didn't want to believe it, you know, that she, she could have left, but she did, and, um, I remember that day, there's a lot of things I don't remember, I don't know if I ever will, but. I remember a lot of things she said to me and before this, anything happened to her. And I tell you, it hurts. It hurts me bad. I remember she said to me that, you know, I'm not going to be okay. And I said, I know, Mama, I know. What am I going to do without you? You know, and I looked at her and she looked at me and reach for each other's hand. My life is quite difficult because, you know, losing my whole family to death, of course. My brother and my mother, my father, I don't even want to get in that one. But she was incredible. Remember it was, and I remember the day was windy. It was October 1st. I went home. I didn't want to face it, I guess. I don't know, but as I, I believed, I didn't want to believe that she was going to, you know, die. So I went home and it was windy. I was picking limbs up, checking on Betty, my cat then. And then I get a phone call and I couldn't hear too well on the phone because it was windy. And the phone was like, oh my God, you know, and I, I went down there and she was gone. And I just, I flipped. I remember flipping and all that. But you know, as Beth said, or, you know, I'm put that writing on there. When people are alive, you say nice things, not when they're gone. And you know, <laughs> my mom was special. I always said nice things about her when she was here. And I tell you, when she died, oh my God. I just wanted to share that and 
You know that every day I do struggle with depression. It's going to always be with me because my mother's death was it's like it's the end of me. But I'm going to do everything to make her proud. Yeah, I think I have. And I love her and I miss her. I'm going to go now. I just wanted to share that with everybody. And I know you all go through hell. I know that you have your people you lost, your mom, your dad, your husband, your brother, your sister, and so on, or a, or a child. I feel your pain, and I love you.